Today I'll be reviewing Wilson tennis rackets. Now Wilson makes tennis rackets for all different skill levels and all different playing styles. So you'll see professionals like Roger Federer and Serena Williams use Wilson and you'll see beginners, intermediate and even junior players all over the world choosing Wilson tennis rackets. Now before we dive into each racket, the first thing you should know is that Wilson makes five different models of tennis rackets and within each of those models there's slight variations and those variations are going to differ based on their head size, their string pattern, their length, and their weight. So the five different models that we're going to cover today are the Wilson Burn, the Wilson Ultra, the Wilson Clash, the Blade, which I have here in my hand, and the Wilson Pro Staff. And what I want to do is help you decide which model is going to be best suited for your playing style as well as your skill level. And then we're going to include links below for you to either purchase a racket or with more detailed reviews on each model so that you can choose the right version within that model for your game. So the first two rackets we'll review are the Wilson Burn and the Wilson Ultra. Now these are both uh, definitely rackets that are built more for power than control uh, and I'd recommend them typically for beginner to intermediate level players. Uh, some advanced players who prefer a lighter weight racket and something that's able to generate a whole lot of power uh, might like this as well, but in general they're going to be better for that beginner to intermediate level range. Uh, some of the benefits of the Ultra as well as the Burn um, they both have a pretty stiff frame, so that's going to create a pretty explosive feel on contact with the ball. Um, it's going to help you generate a lot of power. All of the energy from your swing is going to go into the ball, so you'll be able to create good depth from the baseline. Uh, they both have pretty open string patterns. Uh, they are 16 by 19 string patterns, and the Wilson Burn actually has uh, a different version called the Burn S that has a uh, even more open string pattern that's more spin friendly. So if you are a beginner or intermediate level player who is starting to learn top spin, uh, either of these rackets would be a great option for you. Um, a few cons for the uh, Wilson Ultra as well as the Burn, uh, because they have a stiffer frame, uh, if you've had any issues with tennis elbow in the past, they're probably not great choices for you. Um, also, they don't have quite the control that some of the other Wilson rackets that we'll talk about here shortly uh, do have. Um, if you're playing higher level tennis, uh, if you're trying to defend against anything that's kind of fast paced coming at you, um, you're not going to have the control or stability that you would get in a more advanced kind of control based racket. So uh, when I played with uh, this Wilson Ultra here, um, I didn't really like it a lot from the net on my volleys. Uh, I was playing against 4.5 and 5.0 players, so they were able to hit the ball pretty hard at me. And I didn't feel the stability or the control that I really like um, on volleys uh, and even returning against big serves. So um, overall, these are definitely great rackets for power kind of baseliners um, and they are both pretty easy to handle so that makes them great for uh, beginner and intermediate level players. We're going to again include links below for you to uh, purchase each of the rackets or um, with more information on the different versions. So if you feel like you need a, a power based racket check out the more detailed reviews uh, below on the Wilson Burn and the Wilson Ultra. The next rackets we'll be reviewing from Wilson are the Wilson Clash and the Wilson Blade. So these rackets are a little bit more kind of geared towards control. They're not going to have quite as much power, um, but they will have a little bit better feel, a little bit better comfort, uh, and like I said, a little bit better control. So the Wilson Clash is our pick for the best overall intermediate level tennis racket. Uh, the Wilson Blade is a really good advanced level tennis racket. Now there are different versions of each one that are going to be more um, geared towards beginners versus uh, geared towards advanced players. Uh, the Wilson Clash is a pretty new racket from Wilson. It came out a few years ago and the technology they put into the frame of the Clash makes it very comfortable and very arm friendly. So it's a pretty flexible frame 
Uh, if you've had any issues with tennis elbow or anything like that, uh, the Wilson Clash is definitely a great option. Um, it is not gonna have quite as much power as the Ultra or Burn, uh, but you will have a little bit better feel, a little bit better control. Um, and you, if you're kind of transitioning from beginner to intermediate or intermediate to advanced, uh, the Clash is a great kind of tweener racket for you. Uh, the Wilson Blade is uh, an even more control-based racket. Um, this is the Blade 98. They've got several different versions. Uh, Serena Williams plays with the Wilson Blade, um, and she plays with a version called the SW102 that's a little bit longer. It's got um, a little bit bigger head size and things like that. Uh, this racket is definitely uh, pretty flexible. Um, it's pretty comfortable on impact. Uh, you're able to generate plenty of spin um, depending on the version you choose. Uh, and you'll have plenty of control, so you'll be able to feel the ball really well um, and move the ball around the court really well. Uh, it's definitely a racket that I recommend for more advanced players who can generate their own power. Um, when I played with, the, uh, with this Wilson Blade, um, I didn't have quite the same power that I do with my uh, Head Speed Pro racket, um, but uh, I did have a little bit better feel and a little bit better uh, stability on faster paced balls. So um, overall, the uh, Blade and the Clash are both great rackets. Again, we're gonna include links below for you to purchase either one or to read more detailed reviews on the different versions uh, within each of those uh, racket model families. So the last racket we'll be reviewing is the Wilson Pro Staff. So we've gone all the way from the beginner kind of power-based rackets to the most advanced racket that Wilson makes, uh, and it is definitely geared more towards control. Uh, so the Wilson Pro Staff, uh, you won't be able to generate a ton of power, but you will be able to move the ball around the court uh, with precision. Uh, Wilson worked with Roger Federer to design this racket. Uh, he uses a version of this racket that I'm sure is uh, pretty customized to his uh, specifications, but um, it has a 97 square inch head size, a 16 by 19 string pattern, and it is definitely a pretty heavy racket. So uh, some of the benefits you'll see from the Pro Staff are, uh, like I said, control. Uh, it definitely is a pretty comfortable racket on contact. Uh, the 16 by 19 string pattern will help you uh, generate pretty good spin, um, and it also has really good stability. So. I liked it a lot on my returns, especially against big servers, uh, as well as my volleys. Um, anytime somebody was hitting a fast-paced ground stroke at me, I felt like I had good stability and good control with my volleys. Uh, this racket, like I said, it doesn't have a ton of power, so if you're not somebody who can generate your own power from the baseline, uh, you're gonna struggle a little bit getting the ball deep in the court. Uh, same thing goes for the serve. Um, I found that I was not able to get quite as many free points because I lacked a lot of power on my serve uh, with this racket. Uh, there are four different versions that all vary by weight. Uh, the heavier ones are going to have a little bit more power and stability, uh, but they're going to be a little bit more difficult to maneuver and handle. So if you're uh, a little bit closer to an intermediate skill level, maybe go with one of the lighter versions. More advanced players can go with one of the heavier versions. Again, we're going to include links below with uh, details on um, each different version as well as to, uh, to purchase the Wilson Pro Staff. So uh, hopefully this helped you decide which Wilson tennis racket model is best for you. And again, check out the links below and we will see you in the next video. If you liked that video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below to help support the channel. And for even more gear reviews, double strategies, and interviews with pro tennis players and coaches, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. You'll find links to anything mentioned in the video below in the description, and to sign up for our newsletter where you'll get double strategies and discounts on the latest tennis gear, go to thetennistribe.com.